dear students today i am explaining the next sub topic from distribution law that is liquid liquid chromatography it is an very important technique used to separate the mixture of organic substances which are in small quantity so see on the diagram in the liquid chromatography such large glass tube is present in which we are taking the inert material as like silica which is soaked with the solvent one for example water and then another solvent that is solvent 2 for example hexane and a mixture of organic substances which are we have to separate that are inserted from the top in the glass tube then what will happen this is a system which is formed here in which that two substances or mixture of substances is separated by using the principle of distribution law in this case there are two solvents one is solvent one that is water soaked in silica which is acting as a stationary phase being it does not flow from top on to top to bottom and the another liquid that is solvent 2 for example hexane with mixture of the organic substances which are in a small quantity that is flowing from top to the bottom in the glass tube and hence it is called the mobile phase in this liquid liquid chromatography technique there are two solvents solvent one that is water soaked with silica and solvent two that is hexane coming from top to bottom these two completely immiscible liquids are flowing from are in contact with each other and the arnix mixture of organic substances which are acting as a solute in these two solvents means water and hexane these solutes that is organic substances gets distributed and distribution done here is as per their distribution coefficient the substance whose distribution ratio or distribution coefficient is more that will come fast towards the bottom and it will be separated in the beaker in this way and then the second substance is separated into, into the another beaker and after distillation the solvent is distilled off remaining the organic substance in the distillation flask in this liquid liquid chromatography how the solid support that is silica and stationary liquid phase that is water is attached with the silica that is soaked and another mobile phase that is the hexane etc are flowing from top to bottom during this from that organic mixture solute one is distributing in this way in the stationary liquid film and mobile liquid or mobile phase means that solute shows the distribution between solvent one and solvent two in this way and solute two is showing the distribution in this way the flow of the solute towards the bottom depends upon their distribution coefficient and being there is a difference in their distribution coefficients they are separated in this way solute one is 
separated in this way in band 1 and in band 2 for the solute 2. If these are the solutes, if they are colored one, that can be easily visualized. If they are not visible, then visualizing agent is used. In this way, by using the chromatography technique, we could separate the mixed organic substances from its mixture whenever the mixture is in a small quantity. Then the remaining part I am explaining in detail with the help of board. So please see towards the board. Liquid liquid chromatography <clears throat> is a technique used for the separation of two or more than two substances whenever they are in a mixture, mixture form and which are in a less quantity or in a small quantity in such a case we could separate the organic substances from that mixture by using this technique in this liquid liquid chromatography one glass tube is present that glass tube is having a inert material as like silica that is soaked with the water or a solvent 1 and solvent 2 and the mixture is applied from the top of the tube glass tube then what will happen that solvent and mixture start to flow towards the bottom during this flowing a principle of distribution law is used here. In this case, we are using the two solvents. Solvent with mixture used a, which is flowing from top to the bottom that is called the mobile phase. And the solvent one which is soaked with the silica material which is in the tube that is called the solvent one that is called the stationary phase means in this case we are taking the two solvents solvent one soaked with the silica in the tube inside in it that is solvent one and another solvent which we are flowing from allowing to flow from top to the bottom that is solvent two means we are taking the solvent one and solvent two which are immiscible with each other and the mixture of the organic substances which we are going to separate that is applied here from the top means here we are using the law of distribution that is the whenever the two solvents for example solvent A and solvent B which are non miscible completely with each other Whenever we are adding the solute X to that non-miscible liquids, then what will happen? Solute X, some part of solute X distributes into the solvent A and solute X distributes into the part B also, solvent B. The concentration of solute X in solvent A is C1. Concentration of solute X in constant in the solvent B is C2 then C1 upon C2 is equal to KD this is the distribution law this distribution law principle is used in this liquid liquid chromatography in this case a glass tube is taken in which silica gel is present which is soaked silica is taken that silica is soaked with the water that is solvent 1 and another solvent which we are using that is flowing from the top to the bottom means we are taking the two solvents which are immiscible with each other for example water is a first solvent which is soaked with the silica and the second solvent as like the hexane which are flowing from the top to the bottom 
means we are using the two solvents which are immiscible with each other and with the help of that two immiscible liquids we have to separate the two or more than two organic substances which are in a mixture on a small quantity for example in this case there are two substances which are present here in the mixture that we have to separate that two substances in the mixture acts as a solute means that solute is now showing the distribution itself in the solvent 1 and solvent 2 how the solvent 1 and solvent 2 and solute are showing the interaction with each other that we have I am showing on this diagram. In this diagram, this is a solid support that is the silica. This is the silica and on this silica a small film of the water is present in this way. This is the solvent one and this is the silica. On silica, a water film is attached and that is stable one, stable one that does not show any movement and hence that solvent one is called as a stationary phase. Then the second liquid which is flowing from top to the bottom that is hexane that is solvent two. That solvent is flowing from the top to the bottom and being it is flowing from top to the bottom it is called as a mobile phase. Means one solvent is attached with the solid support that is stationary solvent that is stationary phase and another solvent is flowing from top to the bottom that is a mobile phase. Means solvent 1 and solvent 2 they are in contact with each other which are immiscible with each other also. With each other also. At the same time, mixture of the organic substances is flowing with the mobile phase from top to the bottom. Then what happens? These are the organic substances, two organic substances which we have taken here. This is this one is a one substance and it is a another substance. These two substances are going to be distributed in between the two liquids that is the mobile phase and stationary phase means these two substances act as a solute and they show they are showing the distribution itself in the solvent 1 and solvent 2 in the water and in the hexane what happens during the flowing of the hexane that is solvent 2 from top to the bottom these are substances showing the distribution between the stationary phase and the mobile phase. The solute which is having a more distribution ratio that flows rapidly downward with the mobile phase. In this way, here, these are the two substances. One is shown here by the red dots and another by the plus sign. Plus sign is moving more faster than that of the red dots. It indicates that it, it, it had moved more, more distance. Why it is so, so? Because the distribution ratio of this substance is more in favor of the mobile phase and to that reason it's come down fast means there is a distribution of that solute between the stationary phase and mobile phase in this way solute one means the organic substance one from the mixture <coughs> that showing the distribution between the stationary phase as well as the mobile phase at the same time another component of the mixture it also showing the distribution between the stationary phase and mobile phase that is S2. S2 is showing the distribution between the stationary phase and mobile phase. During the flow of second liquid that is the hexane, 
with the mixture from top to the bottom the flow of the solute s1 or s2 it depends upon the its distribution ratio whose distribution ratio is <coughs> more in favor with the hexane that will come easily or speedily to the down in this way <coughs> in this case this plus sign indicating organic substance moves fast and it is water is taken or the eluent or the hexane is separated first some part and whenever the plus start to come plus sign indicating organic substance collect it in a one beaker keep that one beaker side and take the another beaker or the another vessel in which collect the another red dot indicated organic substance in the another beaker or another vessel in this way you could separate the two organic substances in the two vessels and after distillation you will get that two substances in two separate distillation flask means in this way you are in a position to separate the organic substances from its mixture which are in a small quantity by using the liquid liquid chromatograph during the flow of that organic substances band one for the solute one and band two for the solute two is visible whenever that composition or the components of the mixture are colored one but sometime they are not colored at that in that cases a visualizing agent is also used and that two substances are separated in the two separate vessels and the they are recovered after distillation means in this method we are in a position to separate the two or more than two organic substances which are in a small quantity in the mixture form hg this is the liquid liquid chromatography